Hello everyone and welcome back to 3D Scape. Today we're going to be making the beach scene that you just saw. If you uh, ended up learning something from this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and in case you have any suggestions or you have any doubts, make sure to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to them definitely. So without further ado, let's get started. So I want to start a brand new level without any of these distra distractions. So I'm just going here to file and I'm going to click new level. Basic is good enough. I'm going to click create. Now, when I'm in the level, I'm going to first select the ground and delete it because I don't want the ground. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to enable a few plugins. First of all, there's the uh, water plugin. Just enable the water plugin and restart. Compile some shaders if it asks you to. And then the HDRI plugin, HDRI backdrop, enable that too. And then you are ready. Now I'm going to select all the, um, all the things which are inside the lighting folder in my scene and I'm going to delete it as well. Now in the light section, I'm going to select the HDRI backdrop and drag it in. For right now, this will be the HDRI backdrop that's there. We don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna click shift and two. You can also click here and go to the landscape mode. And you see this new panel has appeared. Just click enable edit layers. Make sure to tick this and click create. Now you can go back to the select mode and you see that a landscape has been created. So if you have enabled the water plugin, you can go to the place actors panel and search water and you find a bunch of water bodies select the water body ocean and drag and drop it into the scene okay so it has created the water body outside the boundary of the hdri that's not a problem we can just select the hdri and increase its size to something like 500 um, now i need to go all the way to there and instead of going i'm just going to play from here because i'm uh, i'm in the third person game mode. yeah now i'm all the way here i'll just increase my camera speed so again, I would like this to be even more far. So I will just make it something like 700. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Now back to low camera speed. Now to detail this environment, we need assets which are present in Quixel Bridge. So I'm just gonna go to Quixel Bridge. These are the assets that I've downloaded. These four and this one and this material. You just go to collections and uh, go to environment, natural and this one and just download what you like from here. So I've gotten these assets, just click this uh, export button beside all of them and make sure to export it at Nanite if you're downloading, if you've downloaded it at Nanite quality. So it would have gone to your Megascans folder over here and there'll be two folders, 3D assets and surfaces. Go to surfaces and you'll find your material has been downloaded. Select your landscape, go to the landscape material, select this, make sure the blue outline appears and just click this right arrow. Now you'll notice that it's very tiled, you can see a lot of repetition, just double click on this go to just check the tiling box and reduce the tiling so make it something like 0.1 and 0.1 it's okay if it's a little stretched because we won't be seeing a lot of this mostly it'll be assets in the foreground and don't worry about this hdri we'll change it out later so go to mega scans and go to 3d surfaces uh, i mean sorry 3d assets and just select the static mesh filter from here so you can filter from static meshes these are the assets that have that i've downloaded Select this beach one, I'm using the beach one. Just take this, turn it, and what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna create a sort of area with uh, an area of sand, something like that. And I'm going to duplicate this and put another one, so something like that. And the blending is pretty good here, you can't really spot a seam between the two textures. Now the waves are a little too big and distracting, so I'm just going to select this, the water body ocean, and the wave attenuation, just increase that and it will become smaller and smaller waves and you can also go up here and decrease the height of this water this is better yeah now this looks good just going to change the angle of this and that and i'm going to just duplicate it one more time and make like this bank of sand that goes into the water and every time we have a noticeable seam like this i'm just going to take an asset slightly bigger one and I'm going to place it here. It's okay if it's big, you can scale it down. When you scale down assets, their textures become more and more compressed, making them higher and higher resolution. It's like, it's a free way to get some resolution. So this looks good. And now I'm going to add this one. Let this be a little bit in the foreground. Something like that and I'm going to add this one over here to make a little bit of blending 
just to make sure it looks realistic. Change the angle of this so you can see some rocks poking out. This looks pretty good. And I'm going to add this one too in the foreground. Close foreground. I'm just adding the same asset again. I'm gonna scale it down. I'm just working on a very small scale here because it's very close by. The camera is gonna be very close to these assets. So I wanna make sure everything looks detailed. This see this this does not make a pretty good this does not make good blending because it just stops here. So I'm just going to move this here and duplicate it and add another one so it just looks slightly better. I'm also gonna take this one and scale it down so it's really tiny. It just it should just look like a bunch of um rocks. So if you get any glitches like this, just restart your engine. I'll be doing that in a second. So this looks good. I'm just going to add this asset a bunch more times. See this the textures are glitching out. That's not a problem, it's just a temporary issue. You can just uh, fix them by just restarting the engine. I'm also gonna put some assets in the water. Now to know how, in what range we're working in, I'm just going to go to the cinematics. I'm going to take a camera, a drag and drop a camera and, and to pilot this, just go to perspective, select the camera and just align your view to what you want, something like that. It's a little bit zoomed in. I'm going to go to the current focal length and I'm going to make it something like 20, 27. Yeah, this looks slightly better. Yeah. And I'm gonna also adjust manual focus distance to be closer or something like that, yes. I if you If you can see in this area, you can see a clear gap. I'm going to add this asset little too big I'm going to add this one same one on the side but I'm going to turn it in a way where it does not look like it's the same one okay you can spot some clear this one clear blending issues over there so I'm going to just add some more small rocks yeah, this looks good so that can be seen I'm going to just scale this up a lot push it back so it just is in the background a little bit Okay, you're not really able to see that, so I'm going to move that back into now. I'm going to down, I'm going to import an HDRI. So I have um, imported three HDRIs, they're from Polyhaven, you can download them for free over there. And make sure you download them in the .hdr format or it won't work. I'm going to check which one looks the best. Yeah, so this looks good. I'm just going to change the direction in which the HDRI is facing. Yeah, this has a pretty good sky on it, pretty interesting sky. Fortunately, we can't really see that much. So this is fine. I'm just going to add an exponential height fog. Going to visual effects, drag in an exponential height fog and go back to the camera view. Uh, I'm going to increase the fog density. I'm going to add volumetric fog. Make sure you put, uh, take that, that's very important. Add some, increase the extinction scale. Change the scattering distribution. This looks pretty good. And now we are done. We just have to take a high resolution screenshot to save this as part of an image. And before I take a screenshot, I'm going to restart the engine because this has clearly not, this has glitched out, the textures have glitched out. So yeah, just increase your screen percentage to 200 and take a high resolution screenshot. You can increase this to 2 to double the uh, resolution and take and click capture it may take a second and it would have gone here I'm going to decrease my screen percentage 
And yeah, that's it. So how to make a quick little beat scene in Unreal Engine. Thanks for watching.